Good day everyone, Jimmy here again. Um, today I am bringing you a half episode, hence the title 4.5, of my iRacing series. Um, this is uh, pretty much a repeat of the first race in the series. I was just doing the race again to see if I could better my position at all. Um, here, obviously, the, the, the picture you're seeing now is the start. It was quite a, quite a, quite a decent start. Um, of course, at the start of these races, you are mobbed by cars. Uh, the MX-5 and the Solstices are different in straight line there. As you see me getting a bit of oversteer, going over the top of the hill, quite scary. Um, on, when, you, when you come down this straight uh, in the Solstice, uh, when you've got this many MX-5s in front of you, there's, you find yourself coming off the throttle, because there isn't actually any point of you know accelerating anymore, because there's nowhere for you to go. Um, so we, we're just kind of waiting now, waiting for the... Um, to get around the lap, uh, this corner I find is very difficult in Solstice, especially on the um, when you've got cold tyres because the back is just wanting to overtake the front constantly. Um, as it goes, you know, instant free first lap, can't really ask for more. Um, we get the, the number 18 coming up on the left. I, it's, it's, I can't nothing I can do about it. The MX 5s have a fantastic drive out of that uh, long uh, round corner, long bottom corner there. Um, again, this corner also difficult in the Solstice because of the. Um, the kind of amount of steering that you're putting in to try and getting the car around the corner. Um, there's something that I've kind of discovered uh, recently, which is the um, my my steering rotation has been at only 180 degrees and not a 900, which probably explains some of the um, like it, it, um, erratic steering. I think that's the best way to put it. Uh, we jump forward now to its lap uh, to lap three. Uh, made up a couple of positions on the MX5. Uh, MX fives and now chasing um, the red and sorry the blue and grey car. Uh, the Solstice up ahead. I forget its number. We'll have a look at it in a minute. And um, again on the straight, um, the, the the car in front, of the MX five, hasn't really got anything to you know to fight back with. So I just it simply just pull past it. Um, the trick is to try and get enough space between you and the MX five so you can um, uh, allow it to catch up again in the corner because you can pull ahead of an MX-5 here by a car length or two and it will just overtake again in the corner because it's so much faster. Here you see the uh, the blue and grey car getting wide uh, on, on the track there so I think oh you know I've got this foot down overtake and he's actually right on the left of me here so um, to add to that is an MX-5 going on the inside of him at this point and we're going free ride up until about here where they drop back a little bit. I think he's still there, so I go around the outside a bit, I try and get there. Uh, there's not enough grip out there. I go wide, and I come back in, and I hit the um, the Solstice. Completely my fault. I apologise I apologize to him pretty much straight away. Um, but, you know, it, it, lots of damage to my car, um, which meant we had to put it into the pits. Unfortunately, the Solstice in front didn't realise he was damaged until he got past the pits, which later played into my hands. Uh, here's another look at the incident. As we're coming down, I'm the black and green car here. We have the three wide. Uh, I turn in, just just get loose. The other solstice is in the wrong place at the wrong time. Another solstice is going off behind me, just showing how challenging that corner is for us. And uh, yeah, I just you know I, I ruined uh, this guy's race, which I was very sorry for. Um, about four or five laps later, after I pitted, I finally catch up one of the MX fives. I think it's the number four car. Uh, I can't really see from him. I, I sight isn't too great. Um, we get the six stream up the hill, and of course, like I said before, we are lots quicker than the MX-5 in a straight line. Um, behind us as well uh, come come the Jettas. Um, the number four car realises I'm faster than him, and the Jettas coming for as well. So it does the uh, appropriate thing and moves into the middle of the track, enough from either side for the Jettas and me to get past. So it's a good uh, a good move from the, the four car there. Uh, again, you can see here the Jettas are a lot faster in a straight line, uh, but we're not racing them, so we're not concerned. Um, so at this point, again, you can see in the mirror that the uh, the back, the number four car, has got so much more speed coming through this corner than the Solstice does. It can get on the power. Uh, the, the gears are better set for it. And, you know, it's just it's just difficult. Um, here, uh, I feel that um, the number four car was a bit naughty again. Uh, this call, that corner is very easy to you know kind of lock up your brakes and uh, go straight on. Uh, I went wider than I usually would, you know, um, to keep away from him. Um, I said to him on the radio at this point that um, you know I'm just going to overtake you here again. Uh, which I did, as you can see. Um, now, obviously later on in the race, we we do find each other again. Um, but at this point, you know, it, it got a bit um, got a bit samey. So, what we're going to do to something a favourite thing of mine, we're going to do the time warp. Let's go. So we've time warped a couple of laps ahead. As you can see, we've got the number four on our right. He actually had a better run on me going from, um, 
on the, on the back straight, throw it on the front straight onto the first corner. So I let him through. But again, uh, coming on coming onto the the back straight here, I have the speed at the top. Um, I try and go a bit wider because um, I, I realise I'm hiding him up and he isn't in my class uh, to try and let him through. Uh, this, of course, kind of unleashes everybody onto me because going wider uh, and add to that obviously the uh, the, the slowness of the uh, solstice through the the long corners. Um, equals in everyone. So on this point, I'm on the inside. Uh, I've got the uh, number seven car on the outside of me. I, I I let off. I let him through, so we don't have to go into the corner again. I don't want a repeat of earlier on in the race. Um, and now it's just a, a matter of trying to hold position. Um, overall position now obviously doesn't really count, but it's 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 good for the um, the the not the I, I think it's the I rating. Sorry, you know to try you know, try and finish as high as you can. Also, I was noticing that the um, the, the blue and the, um, the blue and grey solstice was actually closing in as well after his pit stop. So um, at this point, I realise and, and I'm thinking to myself, right, I need, to, I need to get a move on here because not only am I falling back trap position, I'm actually falling down. I'm actually getting closer to the class, you know, the car in my class behind me. Um, so again, I get a good run up the hill, get a double slip stream of the seven and the four car. A uh, lot's quicker here, so I just decide, you know, um, I, I need to get past them. Again, the the four car sticking to its line, uh, that lets me through again on the uh, inside. Very kind of him. And obviously now I'm set up for this next corner. I pull over to the left, try and get as better, as good exit into, uh, entry, sorry, into the corner as I can. Uh, but it's very difficult in this car, like I mentioned before. You notice how much they close up in the mirrors. So we jump ahead again uh, a couple of laps later. Um, I think this is a bit. Is there the Okay, sorry. Yeah, um, it's it's you know it's getting heating up behind me now. We've got a lot of um, a lot of Ambex lives. There's a bit of a train going on behind me. Um, as you can see in the distance, we're actually um, gaining on an MX5 that was uh, in an instant earlier. So we're gaining on them. Um, again, we we, can't, we go ahead and another lap, and we're now right up with this damaged MX5 who goes very wide into this corner. Uh, I see this as a chance to try and get by, but of course the, the drive and the solstice isn't great. The uh, the yellow car. The orange car, sorry, uh, gets a fantastic run out of the um, the the corner. Comes up alongside me, uh, the two car. Um, I decide again to you know come off early, let him through. He was faster than me. Um, the at this point there is a white car side by um, side by me. I forget his number. I'm sorry, um, but this is where the mistake happens. The two car goes in. Um, the 19 car is on, kind of on its line, doesn't have to get out of the way at that point, and the two car goes into a space that isn't there. Um, this allows me to get back and give him a bit, a bit of breathing room as the solstice behind them has got quite up in that and I'll show that again um, here. So as you can see um, the white car alongside with me, um, the orange car trying to overtake the, the lapped car but you know, it's 50-50 it's really um, and the solstice going back into the back of the black car behind me and this is pretty much how it finished. Um, I ended up finishing fourth in class so pretty average really and um, yeah I, I put the stats on screen there so if you want to have a look at those that's fine. If you like the video then of course give me a like um, if you want to see some more. Next race um, hopefully will be um, at summit point in the solstice and um, you know we'll try and try and get her up the standings. Fourth isn't ideal in a five class field but you know. Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.